Hey guys, so today Apple has officially released iOS 17.5 Developer Beta 2. Now, it's been two weeks since the first beta, so Apple is on a two weeks release schedule. At some point, they'll be switching to a weekly release schedule before the official release. We'll talk about the official release date for this one, but as of right now, 17.5 Developer Beta 2 is now available to register developers. Now, if you're a public beta tester, you'll most likely see this beta within the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, the download was approximately 565 megabytes for the second beta now of course that's always going to depend on the software that you're updating from and the device that you're currently using now let's head on over here into general about and let's go into the ios version here because we still have several more betas this is the latest build number right here 17.5 beta 2 build number is 21f5058 now there's at least two to three more betas before the RC and then the official release but aside from iOS 17.5 beta 2 Apple also updated the iPads with 17.5 beta 2 the Mac with Mac OS 14.5 beta 2 tvOS 17.5 beta 2 for the Apple TV if you have a vision pro you have vision OS 1.2 beta 2 and watch OS 10.5 beta 2 is also available today for the Apple Apple Watch. So iOS 17.5, of course, continues to make changes to the iPhone and iOS in general. A lot of these changes are happening for the EU and under the hood. So I want to talk about those in this video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is app distribution, because with iOS 17.5 for the EU, Apple has enabled the ability to distribute apps through developers' websites. So in the EU, once iOS 17.5 is officially available to the general public, you'll be able to go to a developer's website, download an application, install it directly on your device and have it directly on your home screen without having to use the app stores. So distribution of applications through developers website has been enabled with iOS 17.5 developer beta 2. But again, this is only for the EU. So just keep that in mind. Apple continues to make changes to the distribution of applications. You'll now be able to go directly through developers website, the app store or third party marketplaces. Now there's still a few additional features we're hoping to see with iOS 17.5 that were removed from the software with iOS 17.4 betas, such as the stopwatch live activity for Dynamic Island and the lock screen. We haven't seen that feature return just yet. Hopefully we'll see it before the official release of iOS 17.5. Hopefully we'll also see the ability to transfer music and playlists directly from other services. We're expecting perhaps game mode, perhaps new wallpapers, perhaps new watch faces, things that Apple typically releases with this 0.5 updates we haven't seen just yet so hopefully within the next couple of betas we'll see additional features being added to the actual software itself now in terms of release date i'm expecting at least two more betas then the rc then the official release so the official release of ios 17.5 if my best guess is correct will most likely happen on the first or second week of may so from the 6th to the 10th or the 13th through the 17th so if history is any indication we're about a month at the most from the official release of ios 17.5 5, but as of right now, beta 2, those are some of the latest changes. Of course, I'll continue digging around the software. If I find anything else worth mentioning, I'll update you guys with that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.